but I believe it's the, I believe the one I'm going to is the same one that I went to before. In fact, let me double check. to one of them, I just don't remember if that's the same one. Yeah, 810 Continental. Alright, so for some reason I don't have that saved as the start location. That is the one that is right behind, uh, okay, yeah, no, it's not the same one. I was going to say Continental sounded familiar and it's, I thought Continental was a street that's right behind the, uh, uh, right behind uh, the main Saputo cheese facility on Page Avenue itself. And I was right, yeah. Uh, if you guys want, who watch Scotty D, uh, you guys remember a while back, a couple of years ago I'd say, when uh, he and I crossed paths with each other here in town. Uh, he got lost in the uh, residential area on the other side of 99 and it ended up on Continental coming out onto the same street that I was coming down and he was right there at that intersection at the same time that I was uh, going past him. Uh, I know a lot of you guys who watch him regularly uh, remember seeing that one. Uh, uh, yeah, Prosperity Avenue. I, I, I know Prosperity is up on this side but I don't, I don't think that's the... Uh, I don't think that's the exit I want. It's uh, a little bit further down. Because I'm pretty certain 85, uh, Page Avenue is 85. Whatever the one is, it's right before Page. But more than I can go ahead and use Page because now that I know that Continental is the street that's um, literally right behind the, the main Saputo facility there that I usually go to. There's like four different Saputo facilities there in, in, here in Tulare, and uh, I've been to three of them myself, and uh, the main one, yeah, the bigger one that's uh, right on page is what I'm talking about. You just go around me, dip, dipshit. No sense in tailgating me like that. Now you decide to go, jackass. You're kind of stupid, aren't you? Alright, we're within about a couple miles now for exit, so I'm going to end up staying here by this just guy or just farms, whatever, I guess is what that company is. Alright, going into my load assignment, it's going to be a really light one. And also, this particular U.S. Colds, I've not been there before. I've been past it, I know I've been past it, because I've, uh, I've seen it before, and I've driven past it a few times, but... Really sure, I we just kind of made an assumption that I was going to the same place that I went to last time, but it's not. Uh, Bardsley Avenue is the one that I was talking about that I, where I could get off the road and uh, think that whatever that side street is that, that parallels 99 over here. Same one I'm going to take anyway, it's just do I overshoot and come back or get off early and uh, it's closer to the Page Avenue site, so... And when you get off at the Page Avenue off-ramp, you don't actually get on to, you know, directly on the Page. You actually go straight on to that, that side road. Yeah, if I use the next exit, it'll be less time spent off the road. You know, off the inter... Uh, well, I wouldn't call it an interstate, because it's not an interstate, but... You know what I mean, the freeway. Limited access highway. 
that's something you don't see a hell of a lot here in California is logging trucks. I mean, they are around. They just It's not like this is Oregon or Alabama or somewhere. Mississippi. You know, on, uh, along the Interstate 22 corridor, there's usually logging trucks. And then um, Oregon and maybe Washington, uh, they don't know, especially Oregon, those things are all over the place. assuming that I was going to the same one I went to last time. This Vanguard ad guy kind of messed up my, my flow there because I had that other car behind me and I wasn't, I didn't really want to slow down too much and cause a problem for the car behind me but I had to be aware of what this guy, I mean, he was, him coming off onto the shoulder made me think he was going to stop on the shoulder. I cannot see around this guy. Sun, Sunray, whatever uh, day cab guy is coming out of, that's Continental Street right there. We're we'll making a left turn there. And U.S. Coal will be on my left side. Remember, a good proper button hook turn. Don't try to turn the uh, return the corners like that, like you're in a car. You will. Uh, you can take the front end of the person in the in the turn lane off, and it's going to be your fault. Uh, actually, it's on the right side. Dryers. This should be it right here. Yeah, U.S. coal. Entrance only, trucks and visitors entrance up here. Okay, so we're going to turn into this driveway here and I just check in at the guard shack. Actually, got here a little sooner than I expected, but. which lane I'm in. This, this lane's wider, so I assume uh, this is the one I need to be in. Okay, let's get my... my arrival call sent. I've been the one down the street, but not this one. You can't miss it, sir. 16 trucks straight ahead. 
Yes, yeah, sure do. Come right up to him. You throw that out right there. Check that right there, my friend. Okay. Okay, get out, sir. The right hand side, yellow pole, yellow curve, is exit. Just east of the flagpole. Okay. And that's where you see the exit. Okay, uh, do you guys have like a vest rule or anything like that or? He don't have a vest on. Okay. I'm in the red, sir. You don't oh. wear a vest. Alright. I'm just being honest. Let's go for the Alright. You're good, sir. Appreciate it. All right. So, now as he mentioned, we're just going to pull up next to uh, Stevens. And he said when we exit, there's a, uh, I guess, yeah, this gate over here by the flagpole. I assume he's talking about the, uh, well, that's not a flag though, that's a, that's a windsock. But, I mean, I don't know if that's what he was talking about or if there's another gate further down that, for, uh, that, he, that he had in mind. I'll have to double check when I, when I check out. Or when, when I get through checking in, whatever. You have four hours and 32 minutes of remaining drive time. Okay, so we get this filled out and checked in and we'll figure out what to, what to do from there. Alright guys, I'll be docking in the door 16, which is uh, over by where that fuel truck is at back there. Uh, I already got my doors open here. And she said, hang out in the truck and wait till someone comes up. This guy's pulling out of the dock door right when I'm about to start backing out. Going out the gate, yeah, yes. All right, both windows down. That way, if someone needs to yell, and I can hear them. Well, the white truck is on the other side of that uh, that thing over here, about where the cars are at, is where I'm going to dock in. The very first door on that side. I have my tenants out a little bit over here. There's, plenty, there's a ton of room to work with here, so I don't need to cut in too, you know, too sharp. And I want to pivot around the front there, in front of where that guy's at, not into him. my drive tires over there when he's standing there so
wait on this guy to pull out because he's yeah, straightened out the was having some shit to say there right I don't think he was happy with me docking in right there uh, while he's there but I mean that's why I was trying to stay further left to stay uh, further away from him I didn't I had no idea how long he was going to be he was going to be there uh, refilling that reefer unit so I mean it could have been uh, as quickly as he was or it could have been uh, several more minutes I don't know how much fuel's in that reefer unit I don't normally like to back in uh, spots or dock doors though when somebody is on the on either side of the you know of my door or spot you know on uh, next to a trailer or something it's generally not safe um, in this case so it's like I, I don't know. Man, I heard him muttering something. I couldn't tell what he was saying, but he was sounded like he was saying something. And there was, there's nobody here, so I mean, he wasn't on the phone, so he's probably muttering about me backing in. So that's my my best guess. All right. Anyway, uh, we'll have some more footage for you guys when we check out here, right? Um, just hang out and wait. Alright guys, uh, we're all done here. Uh, I don't know if this guy's waiting on my door, so I'm going to move out of the way. He's got one door open, the other one looks like it's closed, so I don't know what the story is there. Uh, I need to send my departure information, but uh, just in case this guy needs my door, I'm going to get out of the way. I'll just park over on the uh, along the curb over there. You have four hours and thirty-one minutes of remaining drive right. time. I'm not gonna make this turn. I'm gonna have to do a giant, uh, four by four here. Uh, yeah, I think he is going for my door because. He just set up over there, and uh, I can't back up until he until he does his thing. a reason why he was uh, hanging out right there so just putting two and two together he was probably going waiting for me to get out of my door so he can get so he can back into it so yeah I, I'll figure out all my information here uh, once we're on the curb I got two different POs here and I can't tell I didn't get a chance to, to look and see if there's a summary Info or I uh, come up here far enough to get my tenums over here by the curb and.
Okay, so I'm gonna head over. I don't really need to scale the load, but I'm gonna go ahead and just in case uh, I end up dropping this trailer in the drop yard. Uh, that way, whoever inherits this load will know uh, what they're dealing with. It's, I mean, even the, the BOL will be pretty obvious that it's uh, not going to be a heavy load, but as a courtesy, you know, we'll probably do it anyway. Uh, my load gauge is way down at 50 PSI. And I know the last, none of the pallets are that tall, and the last pallet is several feet in, so I don't even know if, I, if it's even worth it to scale it. Um, I mean, it's, all right, so I head over to Flying J down the street here, at least I can use a restroom, get a fresh drink, and uh, we'll get moving. They'll probably end the video uh, at Flying J because uh, that way I can uh, uh, swap out the SD card while I'm there. I want to be losing the uh, earlier data, I mean the earlier part of this video. this is a turn only lane. I thought it was uh, both directions, but not these guys. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make this turn and I'll, I'll pull into Flying J from this other driveway. I can park in one of these uh, reserve spots temporarily. button up turn get my towns away from that guy so he can make his turn and I can make mine together also had that uh that truck uh, that pickup coming uh there's not gonna be enough room for me to to do a u-turn setup here so how about I just u-turn into one of these spots here my tandem so they line up to one of these spots. Alright guys, well I got four and a half hours left on my 70 hour clock. Uh, that'll get that'll get me to San Bernardino or to my house either way, so I'm good. Um, won't make it any further though. So, alright, uh, I'm going to shut down uh, either at my house or to San Bernardino drop yard and then bobtail home or whatever. I don't know what's going to happen yet, but I'm going to end up over in that area somewhere. Uh, I know I'm going to repower more than likely somewhere along the way whether I drop it in the yard or I get swapped off somewhere else I don't know we'll figure that out but um, not gonna yeah I definitely can't make the delivery myself though uh, at least not on time uh, so don't don't really expect that I'll be delivering this in Brookshire myself I'll probably end up with something else maybe another pickup somewhere or uh, maybe a delivery somewhere else with someone else's load so We'll see how things go, and we'll see you guys on the next one, right? Thanks for hanging out and watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.